What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the grand finals of the first ever monthly finals of the year. And uh, let's just say this series was absolutely insane. So make sure you guys stay tuned until the end because you won't want to miss it. But either way, let's hop into the first draft on Bridge Too Far. All right, here we go. And so they are going to be banning Lola. We're going to be banning Piper, two of the best brawlers on this ma map, hands down. They're going to be first picking Nanny, and we decided to go Byron Brock here, I believe. Now, in hindsight, I think there's a little bit of problems with that draft. I'm not going to get into it completely. I think there's definitely a little bit better ways we could have drafted this map. But let's just say they were very strategic in their approach. So either way, again, Brock, very good damage dealer on this map. Byron, just one of the best mids, able to heal up lanes as well. So very, very solid. They're going to lock in Bell and Max. Now, Max is to deal with the Brock, and it's actually very hard for Brock to deal with the Max. So you will end up seeing that in this game for sure. As well as, I believe our last pick is Pam. Very, very strong lane versus the likes of both uh, Max and Nanny. And uh, either way, that's the draft. Let's get into game one. All right, here we go. Game one on Bridge Too Far. Now, again, this map is pretty interesting because it's a very lane dependent map. But either way, we're going to be locking in with the Byron mid versus Bell, Brock versus Nanny, and Pam versus Max. Now, this is the matchups we wanted. And uh, you're going to see as Libby being able to heal up lanes. So that kind of helps us win out these lanes. But either way, it'll be pretty slow for the first part of the map. Liv is Livy healing up Tyrant? Tyrant able to push up the map. And if we can get Brock onto the safe, we're looking very, very, very solid inside of this game. So as Livy got super, Zuan's pushing up. We're healing Tyrant. Max is going to go in mid, almost able to get a kill onto his Livy, but not going to be able to do so. Zuan able to get a little bit of damage as well as get a kill onto Christian. Now, Killer is going to go be going back in. I was yelling at Tyrant to ignore the Nanny. He almost went back the entire way to go for Nanny. And if you do that, it's really, really bad because Brock is our only damage dealer. Uh, and in hindsight, we were able to get one Brock super on the safe, and that was almost 30% damage. So definitely need to ignore the Nanny as at least Tyrant needs to. Uh, in these scenarios most of the time unless it's like forced but either way tyrant versus uh, max you can see very hard to hit the max very very hard but is livy's gonna two tap max max is gonna go down we're able to lock back down that lane and it is tied 72 to 72 so this game super super close we're hitting shots but again they're just putting the pressure where they need to they have nanny tp they have max speed very very difficult we're healing up pam killer again going in here Gonna probably try to TP as Livy's able to tank it and uh, they're not able to get anything out of it. So again, still stalemate. We do have the wrong matchups that we do, or at least don't really want, but Zuan's able to win out on this left side. So Tyrant's gonna go in, able to get a kill with the help of Livy's heals. Pam does go down, but we're able to get another super onto the safe, which is super clutch. And uh, at this point, we do have a lead. Tyrant's able to get ourselves a lead. We're up 20%. All we have to do is make sure we lock down the lanes. It's pretty hard for them to push up unless they have some sort of like TP or speed, uh, but Zwan's able to trade that kill out as well. Tyrant has a big rocket ready just to go for it. Does end up missing it, but I think Batucci's is going to go down, I believe. Okay, he does go down. All we need to do at this point is make sure we, uh, you know, tank or, you know, kill killer when he TPs. He does shoot it into the wall, but it, to be fair to him, there's nothing really he can do, even if he TPs. There's three of us trying to body block the save. We won that first game, very close first game at that, but let's get into the next one. All right, so here we decided to switch lanes because we figured they would switch lanes, which we got right. And again, this is a bunch of mind games inside of the series, and this will happen a ton inside of competitive play. But we got the matchups we wanted this time around, and you can see them switching. So we're unable to switch kind of like they did, uh, but at that, Zuan is able to push up and get a ton of damage. Now here, if I was as Livy, I think we should be pushing up a little bit harder, helping Zuan out because Zuan's able to get damage. Just kind of, you know, hope that Tyrant can defend, which he does successfully. We're able to get some chip damage. Either way, we played that pretty well and are able to get some sort of lead for ourselves, but they do have the lane matchups they want and uh, it makes it pretty tough. So you'll see them always stacking this max onto Brock and it becomes pretty tough. Tyrant's getting heals luckily and is able to kind of survive this a little bit more. He does miss the big rocket, but I believe he gets his kill or goes down. He actually goes down very very close interaction we do get a kill onto mid and uh we're looking all right i mean there's nothing really that's going on right now a nanny's eventually gonna go get tp and that's where things get wrong here so nanny tps i think this is probably my fault yes i'm in the call i'm trying to make calls oh actually no this, not this game so zuan goes back i think this was the right place someone needs to go back for nanny 
were able to get this kill, but he does get a lot of damage, as well as Byron's, you know, kind of taking away at their damage. So he, e we even it out. So either way, we're evening it out right now, and it's, again, very, very close scenario. We're still winning by a little bit, and we're trying to get Tyrant onto the safe. And it's very, very difficult, actually. They played it very, very well. And uh, we're pretty low right now. I believe Tyrant's pretty low, but he is on the right matchup as well. Nothing's really going on in this scenario. Uh, again, no one wants to make a mistake. And uh, we're just slowly tip uh, tagging them, trying to get them low. Is Livy's going to hit the save every once in a while if he can. Nice uh, super from Killer. And uh, at this scenario, this is where things go downhill. Now, unfortunately, I don't know what happens in the back. I'm not able to see this because the camera angle from the caster sometimes is kind of poor. I think Tyrant should have just full send it for uh, Killer here. Killer's able to get a ton of damage. Probably should have just walked up to him a little bit earlier. But it happens and Killer is able to get a decent amount of damage. Now Tyrant is forced on defense because of the Max just gunning for him. Zuan's trying to get damage. Is Livy's trying to get damage. We can't really just go back and defend because we give up full control and then they're able to push up. So it's pretty tough. They play that very, very well and make it really hard for us. So we go one to one in the series. Let's get in the next game. All right, game number three. And again, nothing is really happening at the start of this game. We do get the matchups we want again for a third time. Nice dash from Batucci's, but it's still going to go down. And uh, we're getting a little bit of damage on the safe. Every single Brock shot is huge onto the safe. And I mean huge because it's like 6% per shot or even more. I don't even know. But it feels like it's a ton and a super is even more. So this is the play that I was talking about that I think I messed up. We were discussing whether we should just, you know, full send it or defend the nanny. And we decided to full send it. But in hindsight, I think we need to send back someone to deal with the nanny. And nanny's able to do so much damage. And now Zuan's trying to kind of equalize the damage, which he does somewhat but i believe max is making it very very tough for them nanny is still on the safe killer was an absolute menace here they're able to get so much damage more than us i mean we have 18 percent left on our safe and at this point it's almost over we need to play completely perfect not allow them to push up lanes and that's pretty tough because eventually they're just going to stack lanes and you can see i mean we're, we're doing a good job right now we get a bunch of kills it's looking all right we get even a nice tap onto killer that's a kill but I think they stack the Brock lane and this is what's going to happen. So Tyrant is not our worst defender in this scenario. And you're going to see that Batucci's is just going to run straight up his lane every single time. Killer's just trying to get TP and uh, nothing we can do. I mean, it's again, had to play pitcher perfect at this point. They're able to, you know, clutch up, get a couple kills, get that win. We're going to lose the first set. And this was a little bit unexpected towards us because we were very comfortable on bridge too far. So it kind of shook us a little bit, but either way, let's get in the next one. All right. So we're hopping into the draft for Bell's Rock. Now I quickly wanted to mention Avengers is a very, very strong team that has kind of flown under the radar for a while now. We've been scrimming them for basically every single day for almost for a couple weeks now, just because they're such good scrim partners. You know, we make it very close inside the scrims. We learn quite a bit from each other. So either way, we knew this was going to be a very intense series for the finals uh but as the draft goes out both teams ban tick they're going to first pick fang now killer on their team is an absolute insane fang and ash player so it's pretty scary when he gets the likes of those brawlers so either way we lock in gene and daryl and i think this was a very strong da draft from us and uh, it kind of forces them. I thought they were gonna try to go like Piper Brock, but if that was the scenario, we could just go uh, Byron. But instead, they lock Pam Byron. They're trying to deal with the Daryl on our side, and they have a lot of tools to deal with Daryl, but at the same time, they also left themselves very vulnerable to the likes of Gale, and that is what we're gonna be picking on Bell's Rock. Now, Gale, you typically don't see that much inside of this map. It's just very good versus their draft. And so we're going to lock that in and that is going to be the draft for the game. So let's go. All right, hopping into this first game. Now, I'm not going to lie at the start of this game, we were a little bit lost. Now, we kind of let them just walk up and we forced ourselves into this middle of the map and you know everyone's trying to kind of push up but we're really in a bad spot like this is really bad like i don't think you can be in a worse spot this is not what you want to do on this map if you're going to you know group up you got to make sure they take advantage of it so at this point we knew we lost the round we're just going to save our supers and they get a first quick win that was kind of scary uh not going to lie but we knew what we did wrong and we're like all right spread out don't switch like we were deciding whether we should switch lanes you just can't switch like like that easily sometimes but we do have pull and we do have gale super and daryl super so this time around we knew we had a lot better of a scenario we force out the pam turret because otherwise he could have easily got pulled 
And again, it's pretty hard for them to do anything with Gene pull in the play. Nice pull from Zuan, able to get a kill. Killer is forced to go in, but get Gale supered instantly. And that is the power of Gale in this scenario. You'll see it. Now, Tyron is literally just trying to let his Livy and Zuan get super. Just going to tank that stuff for him. And we're now 1-1 one, one inside of Knockout. And again, we have another pull and we have another roll. And I think his Livy is probably pretty close to another super. And once we get our first supers, I don't think they can really do much. I think this is a very hard draft for them. Look at them in the bottom left corner. They cannot put up if they push up without a pam turret or something they get insta pulled into daryl and they and they die it's pretty simple is livy all he has to do is just kind of stay on that side even if he gives fang super it's not the end of the world obviously trying not to at this point but again fang super in this scenario when gale has super is pretty tough uh, he can also just push back to Gale because he has a gadget and Fang can't really kill Gale. Uh, but either way, we're just kind of waiting. If they want to push up, we're going to pull and the smoke is eventually going to push them up. And I think if we play this too aggressive, we could lose this very easily. So we have to be a little bit careful. Now, Killer's going to go onto the side. Zuan's able to get another nice pull, but the Gale's super into the wall. Now, no one actually dies in that, uh, in that scenario, but we got another Gale super onto Killer. Killer goes down, but Tucci's extremely low. And there is the just Gale super barrage from his Livy. Able to lock that game down so let's get into the next one all right game two and again we just played the start really really bad now zuan gets tapped up here quite a bit and is forced to go back now this is the smart play though we just go back like it's simple we don't want to try to like hold the mid there because if we do they're able to push up and just win that if we have to give up some mid control we have to give it up and uh, zuan gets pulled just like that we're able to get a kill tyrant rolls in it's gonna get stunned up by killer but almost trades out another kill he almost goes two for one and in this scenario, it's definitely beneficial for our comp. Now, Killer gets pushed, but unfortunately just misses the wall. He goes in for a pretty crazy play. Christian goes down. And uh, at this point, this is scary, by the way. Fang versus Gale and Jean split up like this. Killer can definitely do this. Like, this is a play for Killer. You can see he goes in, almost gets a kill onto Zuan. If he stuns there, he does get that kill. And then it becomes a 1v1. So, at this point, we were deciding whether to save pull at this point i think just pull and, and i was like just pull him and we, we're, we're so close to super again it doesn't even matter i think gene is like one shot away so you know just lock down the round at this point i'm you know i just want to make sure we get that round byron super goes in able to nice stun from his livy keeps zuan alive but unfortunately he gets tapped on the way out uh and again gale super with daryl super it's very tough for them to do anything here like they can't they can't really push up because they just get super. Now, unfortunately, Gale or Izlivi misses the super onto Batucci's. And, you know, it doesn't really matter because we're going to get another one pretty quickly. I think he's already pretty close. Uh, we do have Daryl roll. Now, we just have to make sure we don't mess up this too much. Now, Tyron is going to roll onto Christian, get that kill. Izlivi gets two supers to, and just, you know, super is the pam into the wall. Gale, just very strong versus their comp. We get the win on the next set. So let's go third set. All right, here we go. Crystal Arcade. The bands are going to be Crow and Ash. And everyone's going to be like, why you guys ban Ash? And I mean, if you haven't seen Killer on Ash, Killer is an absolute menace. Now, we just didn't want to give it to him. As simple as that. We didn't want to give him Ash. They sometimes draft around Ash and it makes it pretty tough sometimes. But either way, we're going to lock in Pam first pick. Then they go Gale and Ems. Both pretty strong options. Gale's a flex pick, whether it can go mid or side. And since we have a Pam mid, I believe Gale is going to send mid. Uh, they're going to send Gale mid. And we decided to go a little bit of a squishy lanes with Mr. P and Spike. Now, this was a little bit risky. I definitely think it's a still winnable draft for us. Uh, and we knew that they were probably going to go Fang here in this scenario. Uh, I still think that we can definitely win this. I don't actually know who has the better draft. Uh, I think it just kind of depends. But you'll see what happens in the game. So, you the way they last pick fang by the way so let's get in the first game. all right so here we go hopping into it and we decided to pinch the spike lane at the start with the pan we wanted that but we wanted to make sure that spike won lane we didn't think that mr p was going to win lane anyway so we just wanted to you know zuan to charge porters kind of you know get super eventually and as uh, does win lane here but unfortunately, eventually, uh, Fang is going to get super. And that's the problem with Fang lane. I mean, he's doing kind of the same thing as Zuan is in hindsight. They're both just charging supers, trying to get some sort of, you know, control. We do have kind of a mismatch in the mid. I mean, uh, Gale versus Pam in the mid is pretty tough. They're able to collect four gems to R2. And so they're definitely winning at this point of the game. Now, Zuan's going to go in. He unfortunately misses the shot on the Batucci's and is able to, and Batucci is able to live. But as Livy's doing a good job locking down the lane. Now, Fang has super, Gale has super. Very tough scenario for us, especially for his Livy. We're going to get, Tyron is going to get stunned into the wall. Killer is going to go in and able to basically get a double kill. Now, Zuan's left on his own. Nothing really he can do in this scenario. He does go for a kill. I think he trades it 
but they have 10 gems to nothing guys this is at this point it's over like there's really nothing we can do 10 seconds uh we're trying our best to get up to it up the map but killer's an absolute menace goes in gets a couple double kills and uh one play decides it that's really what happened in this game they had a very nice one play push and uh we're able to lock that game down very quickly now game two uh, we learned a little bit from our mistakes we were a little bit more careful of the one play push and uh we'll just say we're a little bit more ready for it so either way they're gonna double stack the spike lane and we decided to switch it up and double stack the mr p lane now don't ask me which one's right which one's wrong i think it's definitely just kind of opinion based and you know who whichever one you lane you want to win more but either way we wanted porters a little bit quicker so we're going to go stack the mr p lane and zuan gets porters very quickly now this Izlevi is going to be forced out of lane just because of them pinching but we get a nice pinch between tyrant and Izlevi. is livy is able to push back inside of the lane and we have porters i mean this is the best case scenario right here we're looking very very strong we have everything we could possibly want and we have full control of the lanes now unfortunately Livy probably you know wasted super a little bit there but it does happen and uh it kind of stopped them from coming up at least so killer with super though is what is very scary so i think batucci is going to run up the map and it's pretty hard for him zuan to hold him back he does miss the porters by the way that was crucial fang didn't get super back but he's able to push up and still get a lot of value here so kind of lost a little bit of control but it, i think it was an ine inevitable zuan i believe goes down here got a little bit too close to fang and we we're able to trade that kill out with tyrant we have to be careful of the gale stun which christian does have and uh tyrant's gonna go in nice play though actually i thought christian was should have supered there he played that very risky, but it ended up working out for him. He's able to save super. Petucci's extremely low, does go down. Is Livy's locking down the lane? At this point, we need one more gem. We just need one more gem. It, they do have the turnaround potential with Fang and Gale, but I mean, the next gem is spawning on our side. Now, we knew where Petucci's was. We just thought we could grab this gem and uh he punished us for it simple as that he punished us for it killers going in like a madman gale stun everything went wrong in that scenario again the one play push from them is able to win that game and uh maybe just a little bit of a misplay very good play by them as well though i don't want to take anything away from them they played absolutely insane so either way we lose that set Let's get on to the next one. All right, here we go. Set four on dry season. If we lose this set, we lose in the grand finals of the first month. So we definitely don't want to lose in the here. And uh, they had a pretty interesting draft. I actually like it quite a bit. We locked in first pick Gene, just a very well-rounded brawler, very strong on this map, especially if you start with the lead. They're going to go Sprout on being the only good thrower at this point is just very good to have on your team. And they go Brock. And the reason I think they went Brock, again, I don't, I don't I'm not playing for them, so I don't exactly know. But is that way that we can't really push up we don't have a way to break the walls sprout is just gonna be able to sit behind a wall all game and so we're kind of forced to pick something a little more aggressive here now we did lock in piper you could argue for byron or piper i think uh piper does end up bailing us out in this set but i believe byron daryl would have been a little bit stronger in the sense of able uh, being able to push up but I, by no means i don't know what's better piper or byron could be both very very solid but we're gonna lock in daryl last pick so gene piper daryl from our side and i believe their last pick is going to be roughs now roughs very good into literally all three of our brawlers very good at countering gene with the bags pretty hard for piper to deal with again because of the bags and well just daryl kind of feeds roughs and roughs get super and they power up their brawlers so either way that's what they lock in let's get into the first game here we go first game and uh things are pretty interesting so we're able to grab this blue star this game and i think that was a little bit better played by us this time around uh we definitely want to get that blue first star now zuan's gonna get tapped up at the start and unfortunately we lose our lead pretty pretty much instantly and we're forced back really back like really far back and so we're put in a pretty tough spot and uh we never want to give them the lead inside of these games because well if we have to you know run into them it's kind of just what they want i mean they have a roughs roughs is just able to you know charge up once they get all powered up it's pretty hard for us to push into their comp so either way though luckily we have gene pull and we have daryl pull and we're kind of corralling them tyrant's doing a fantastic job of putting them in some weird spots but he's very hesitant to go in. he knows that if he dies with the, the blue star this game becomes a lot tougher so he doesn't want to go in and just die and they're grouped up as three is livy can't really do anything he's having a very hard time of getting in there because again if he pushes up too much sprout just double taps him and then uh, there goes our kind of push he's able to break some of those walls which is kind of helpful and again we're waiting we're waiting for the right scenario there they are healing up as uh both roughs and brock unfortunately we're gonna miss pull and tyrant's gonna have to super out they play that defense very very well tyrant is forced to super out otherwise he goes down and we lose more stars 
then this became game becomes very hard to win. We're gonna have to team wipe if that was the case. So at this point, I know we have a ton of gadgets. I'm, I think I just told Zuan, start just gadgeting. Get them low. We got to make a push here very quickly. 20 seconds. Is Livy with the curveball is able to snipe, I believe that's uh, Christian, and able to get that kill as well as Tyrant Tanks for Zulan, making sure we're able to get out. Curveballs at the end, gets another kill. Not gonna lie, we're bail we got bailed out that game a little bit. Not gonna say that we couldn't win that at the last push, but he made it a lot easier for us. So nice shots from Ms. Livy, able to win that first game. Let's get the next one. Game two, we decided, uh, we messed up a little bit here. D nothing major, but we definitely wanted to switch uh, the Daryl onto the Sprout. That's the matchup that we would like to have. And because we didn't, Sprout is able to push up and they're able to grab that blue star. Now, again, like I was saying, this is not the comp you want to let them get a lead because that's the way they succeed in this comp. Like they just power up themselves. Very, very difficult. And again, we're having to push up into them on this map. And that's not what you want to do on this map. It's pretty hard to push uh, a Sprout and Ruffs behind the walls here. I'm even with a Daryl, to be honest, because once we get gene pull, we still can't pull because of Ruff's bags. So either way, we're looking for a scenario where we can sort of push up. Tyron, again, being the tank he is, just gonna push up every single scenario he gets. And uh, now they get a Sprout power up. So it's, again, being a little bit tougher and tougher as the game goes on. But Tyron, being the menace that he is, juking literally every single shot, walks in. We're able to break some of the walls, I believe. Swan is very close to pull. He goes down. That was a very nice Brock super from Killer. Just basically one, uh, 100 to zeros, uh, Zuan. Nothing really he could do, nowhere to go at that point. And, uh, but luckily we have a little bit of control on this left side. Again, another Brock super coming out. Tyrant's able to kind of dodge out on that. And uh, we're looking a little bit better. Three stars though, we do need two kills. So it's a little bit tough. And uh, we're doing the same thing, trying to get them kind of corralled. Zuan goes extremely low here. So again, we have to back up. We have to make sure we don't die. Uh, is Livy's just going for some curves now here almost gets a kill on the killer but killer gets a nice jump away I think we forgot that he even had jump so he kind of that was his first jump I think of the entire series so it surprised us a little bit now here all we need is two kills so I believe that miss pull is unfortunate and it so close honestly so close because if uh, Zuan pulls the sprout into Daryl Daryl gets that kill quickly and would still have roll to roll on to the other teammates a little bit of misplays at the end but they played it pretty well on the defense we're not able to lock that game out so let's get in the next one all right here we go game three and this is literally a match point for them if we lose this game it's over for us and we're not going to be able to win this first monthly final so we have to make sure we clutch up here and uh, again we switched lanes this time to get Daryl onto sprout but them being the smarter players, they switched as well, and then they got the matchup that they wanted. So it happens that way. That is what's going to happen inside of competitive. Uh, but we just switch lanes pretty quickly. We get the matchups we want, and then they switch band. So a lot of switching going on in these games, and it's going to happen. Now they're just grouped up all healing and makes it pretty tough for us. I actually really, really do like their comp. Our comp is good, but very hard to execute. Like we kind of need to play it perfect. And you can see that we're trying our best. As Livy's dodging Sprout, Tyrant goes in, able to get out, I believe, I think. I don't know. It's pretty tough. Zuan's able to do a good job of basically healing up Tyrant and protecting. And uh, But again, you can see as Livy can't do anything. Like, he really can't as Piper. Tyrant goes in, though, gets a kill, and we're able to get the lead. Now, that was huge. Good plays by everybody all around. Is Livy playing smart and not going down there? Uh, sometimes it's very easy to get impatient and just go in. But again, as Piper, you're the weakest... Uh, brawler on the team when you get up close so could have been very bad for us pretty quickly now in this scenario they need to push up they need to get a kill sprout wall becomes a little bit annoying but luckily we do have gene pull and we knew that sprout only had one bags left so once ruffs uses that bags they can't walk up anymore because gene is just going to get a nice free pull and uh, you can see zuan threatening and there goes the bags they're trying their best to push up, but we knew that now all we have to do, not die. Tyrant has to roll out of here. A little bit unfortunate that we have to waste roll, but again, we have supers. Zuan can just threaten to use supers. His Livia has curves. He's just going to start using them the last 10 seconds. Every gadget is going to be used. Zuan is flashing the pull. They're really scared to go in, but they need a kill. I don't know where that pull was going, Zuan. I'm not going to lie, but it doesn't even matter because we're able to get that win, and I'm just playing a little bit. So either way, we lock in that win. We forced this to a set five, so let's go. All right, hopping into the draft for Super Steve stadium or super beach i guess is the new map name i don't know why they changed it but either way byron gonna be banned away from them byron probably the best mid and one of the
one of the most flexible brawlers on this map. We banned Fang because we were getting pretty uh, annoyed with the killer just like one tapping us and just kind of ruining the game for us. So we locked in B first pick. Then they proceed to lock in Gale Ash. Now the reason they went Gale Ash is one, killer is an absolute menace on the Ash and as well, Gale is probably one of the best brawlers to play against Ash and is still a good brawler in any scenario. So they were like, okay, let's just eliminate one of the tank counters and uh, let's lock it in for ourselves. So then they lock in Max Mid, which is also very strong. I mean, Max Mid versus B is sometimes pretty hard for, for B because Max is so fast. We lock in the Frank for the Ash. I think we were forced, our hand was forced in this scenario. If we don't go Frank, I don't know what we do, to be honest. I think we needed Frank in this scenario to deal with the Ash, but either way, that's the draft. Let's get in the game. All right, first game, here we go. And uh, things are gonna go, we're gonna have M's onto the Ash and we're gonna have Frank onto the Gale. Now, unfortunately, Gale matchup versus the Frank, or sorry, the Frank matchup versus the Gale is not fun for Zuan whatsoever. But luckily we remembered that Frank has a gadget to cancel out a lot of the stuff that Gale can throw at him. And let's just say that came in clutch so many times. I'm so glad we did that. But either way, so far, so good. Uh, Islevi gets a nice super onto Killer. And we do have Frank super. So this is the scenario that we want. And uh, honestly, in hindsight, I think Frank, well, I mean, actually, I don't know, but Frank definitely just wants to break the walls. That's what we want to do. That's our game plan this entire game was to start breaking the walls. And that way, B just has a field day. So he does get stunned into the wall, but is able to get a nice kill. But Bichuji is able to trade out that kill. Is Livy's able to push up onto Killer. His gadget, unfortunately, doesn't go off quick enough. And Killer is able to win that matchup there. And again, Killer, absolute menace on the Ash, but Zulon breaking the walls. Uh, unfortunately, didn't quite break all the walls, which makes it a little bit tougher uh, for, you know, B to help out. I just didn't even realize during that the game. Uh, little little things that could definitely help us out, but he's, I mean, he's, he's playing absolutely like a menace. You'll see here he has a crazy play er, later. Uh, but we do have 3k. We're looking pretty risky right now as Livy gets a nice super, able to kind of hold them back here until Zuan respawns, which was huge. Tyrant has 3k. Killer's going in. Uh, I believe Tyrant goes down through the, the shot from Killer. Zuan gets the double kill to save the goal, and that's what I was talking about right there. Very nice play from Zuan to kind of keep this game at 0-0. Zero to zero. Don't mind me. We got the right side broken, which is able to kind of help uh, and, and there we go, a nice super from Zuan, able to get that kill as well. I believe we make the call for Ty uh, Zuan to come over and break this wall. Make sure he pops the gadget, that way kill, uh, Christian can't just blow him away and uh, stop that wall break. So now, once the walls are all broken, this is very good for us. Like, I mean very, very good. Be it in the open map versus all of their brawlers is solid. Ems has a pretty good job, or pretty good lane matchups versus Killer and uh, Christian as an open map as well. So in this scenario, we're looking very good. I mean, we're very, we're feeling very comfortable. Uh, I believe Killer again though does bait out a Frank Super. I, mean, I don't understand why uh, Ash is so fast sometimes, even without a max speed. But either way, Tyrant gets a nice 3K onto uh, Killer, able to get another kill. Zuan able to just super shot this ball. He took a very long time. I was not gonna lie, I was very scared that Gale was gonna get super and blow him away. But he's able to get that goal nonetheless. We win the first game. We need one more to lock it out. So let's go. All right, so this is technically game three since we tied the other game. And, I, and I'm not gonna show it just because it was, the video is already getting decently lengthy and uh, nothing really happened. I mean, a couple nice plays from both teams, but either way, we're breaking these walls. Zuan gets that wall broken very quickly. Like, I mean, very quickly. He's able to get a kill onto Christian. I don't know how, but he was able to do it. And uh, now we have the left side open and all we need is the right side open. And once that is done, the game is in our hands. Like, I mean, it's very hard for them to play the game. Is Livy has a super, but knows that Gale is just going to push him away once he uses super. So he has to be a little bit smart about it. And we're looking for the right scenario to make a play. Again, Frank super is probably what we're waiting for in this case, uh, because once we get Frank super, we break more walls and it's very tough for them. So here we go. Frank super instantly from Zuan. Nice super and able to get a kill onto killer. As Livy goes in at the same exact time, very smart plays from everybody around. Everyone's going in at the exact same time. We get the first goal. Looking very solid right now. Again, resetting back into the mid. Now, Zuan has super on this right side, and it's pretty hard for them to do anything. Petucci's goes for the play. Nice gadget from his Livy. Forces, uh, or stops that play completely. Zuan goes in, gets a nice super onto Killer. Zuan playing absolutely insane. His Livy goes for the goal, and I was, like, so nervous because I thought that was going in, but unfortunately, it doesn't, and uh, it would go back to just, you know, mid control. And uh, I thought the game was over right then and there. But here we go, Zuan has super, unfortunately misses, and you'll see that Killer's able to push up because there's walls here. Now, again, I'm just being super critical just because, uh, I don't know, I just like being super critical. But either way, I think that 
Uh, just holding that super or breaking the wall allows Tyrant to pinch easier. You can see here he's able to dodge out on a lot of things just because the wall is still there. But uh, it kind of goes down and uh, I believe Batuji is able to get this kill and score the goal. And so maybe a slight misplay, but it wasn't really a misplay. It was just something that we probably could have done a little bit better. But either way, everyone's still playing very, very well. So we do have every super. In this case, Zuan is just chilling here. There's nothing they can do to him. They have smack speed, but he's not going to get baited out. You can see Killer's trying to bait it out. He's been doing that every single time. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But Zuan being very, very patient here, very smart and waits out. Because, I mean, Tyron and his Livy are going to win the other side of the map. It's pretty simple. There's nothing they can do. So Livy gets a nice super onto Killer, able to get a nice stun with Zuan. And uh, we're not looking to panic here. I mean, it's looking very good. We could easily just go for this ball as Livy plays it smart, backs off. We're able to get a kill onto Christian. So again, cycling out kills. But Tucci tries to get the ball away as Livy supers. Zuan gets another stun onto Killer. We get the ball to Zuan. Zuan passes back to his Livy as Livy scores. And that is the game. And there we go. All right, there you guys have it. We won the first monthly final of the year versus Avengers. A very, very good series. Uh, GG's to them. I mean, it couldn't make it any closer. And But either way, I'm super happy with our team's performance. And uh, again, if you didn't know why I wasn't playing, if you have questions about that, honestly, very tough decision with four very strong players. It becomes a very hard scenario of deciding who plays. And it honestly just happened last minute. We did, couldn't even decide. But either way, I ended up sitting out and the team got the win. I couldn't be happier. But either way, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.